Hey guys, my name is Liz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Reiki website on your own domain, step by step, explaining each and every detail along the way. You know, just a few years back, you really kind of needed to have a lot of technical knowledge to build your own website. But these days, it's so easy that uh, anyone who can use a keyboard and a mouse can build their own website. So today I will show you how you can create your own website with the help of a company called InMotion Hosting. And we've chosen these guys because they're pros. Uh, friendly and helpful for non-technical users. Their prices are great and their service is top notch. So lots of other hosting companies out there of course that you can use. And the steps to create your website would be pretty much similar to what we're going to do here today. But uh, this video will focus on InMotion Hosting. And on that note, I just want to say that if you sign up with them through our link, that we'll get a commission for referring a customer to them. So, uh, in other words, you'll be supporting Reiki Rays too. And if you do, we certainly want to thank you in advance for helping us out. So, this is going to be done in three easy steps. Step one is to order the hosting. Step two is to install a software called WordPress. And step three is to add content to your new website. Okay, so let's get started with step one. Uh, I'm going to order a hosting package, and for that, I'll open a new tab and type in ReikiRays.com. Here I'm going to click the banner at the top to get to InMotion Hosting. And from there, I'll hover over Web Hosting and select Business Hosting. Alrighty, now here we get a look at their hosting packages. And if you're just starting out and this is your first website, then the launch package should have what you need. If you need more down the road, of course, you can always upgrade. So for starters, we recommend you go with the launch package. Alrighty, so we have a couple of options here. We can pay for either 12 or 24 months. And it looks like you can save some money if you want to go for two years. I'm going to choose 12 months though for the purpose of this tutorial and click continue. Okay, next you have to choose your domain name. And what's really cool is that typically you have to purchase a domain name separately from a domain registrar. But with InMotion Hosting, you get your domain name and you get it for free for the first year. Uh, I'll try and register ReikiJaneDoe.com and see if that's available. Okay, so I'm lucky it's available. And here I have the option to upgrade to the power plant. Again, six websites sounds great, but if you're just starting out, one website is all you need. You can always upgrade at any time later. So uh, I'm gonna pass on the upgrade and just click continue. Okay, now here you can choose from the East or West Coast Data Center. To be honest, I don't think that a few milliseconds will make much of a difference, but you can surely choose based on your location. And if you're not in the U.S., then I would just go ahead and go with the default. Now, this is where I'm going to enter my billing details, so if you would, bear with me here. This will take just a moment. Fill in our address. Uh, city. State. Zip code. Select my country from the drop down list. And there we are. Enter my phone number. And my email address. Whoops, there we go. Now here's the referred by that we mentioned earlier, and this is where you would write ReikiRays.com if you'd like. I'll click no for domain privacy, 
and here this is where I'll put in my credit card details and tick the I agree box and purchase account. Okay, so I am now the proud owner of a brand new domain, ReikiJaneDoe.com. Well, almost. For security purposes, InMotion hosting requires that all new accounts be verified by phone. So I have to verify my account first, and as this email that I just received states, I could just wait for them to call me soon, but I don't like waiting, and I'm on Europe time zone, so I'm going to give them a call myself on this number. It's toll-free from the U.S., and you should also be able to call this number for free from Skype, if you have a Skype account, uh, even if you don't have any Skype credit. So I'm going to pause the video while I call them, and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, I'm back, and I just want to say it's always a good experience talking to InMotion Hosting on the phone. Their support staff is awesome, uh, no matter whether you're calling with just a question or a problem. And uh, here's the deal. When you talk to them, they'll tell you about the domain name and confirm that it's free for the first year. Uh, but they'll also talk to you about what's known as domain propagation. And simply put, that means that it may take a while for your new domain name to propagate throughout the Internet. And this is just for the domain name and not for your content. So anything that you post to your website will be up there instantly. Um, then they asked me how I'll be building the site, and I told them I'll be using WordPress. And for what it's worth, I do want to say that uh, I really believe that WordPress is the best platform for websites. Not only is it free, but uh, there are thousands of free themes to choose from. And Reiki Race runs on WordPress, by the way. Okay, so that was step one, getting the hosting package. We have two steps left. One, to install WordPress, and two, to add some pages to our website. So let's move on to step two right now, and that is to install WordPress. Back to the phone call verification for just a sec. After you complete that phone call, you're going to get two more emails. And the one that you're interested in is the one that says, Welcome to AMP. So let's open that up and take a look. Scroll down and see where it says click here to create your account password and get started in AMP. Okay, well make sure of course that you choose a strong password. Then click submit and then you should be able to log in. Looks like lots of good information here and you'll definitely want to check it out when you get a chance. Okay, so what you want to do if you want to just get started working on your website is to work in your control panel and you do that by clicking on the link down here on the right. Okay, more good stuff here. Looks like we've got a help section and our preferences and I want WordPress which is right here under top applications so I'll simply click the WordPress icon and then install. Okay, so go ahead and leave the software setup and database settings as they are by default. Now for site settings, you can choose a name and a tagline or type up a description. I don't know, something like Reiki Jane Doe and Healing the World. There we go. And next is your admin username and password. Now these are going to be your WordPress username and password, so they should differ from your AMP password, which we set up just a little earlier. Um, of course, choose another strong password and confirm it and enter your email. Click on Advanced Options. It's a good idea to go ahead and check the limit login attempts as well as the auto upgrade boxes. Enter your email address again. And click Install. Okay, that was fast. Okay, next, try and navigate to your new website. If it doesn't work yet, it's because the domain name hasn't propagated yet. Technically, it can take up to 24 hours, but usually much faster, sometimes in just minutes, and typically not more than a couple of hours. How's that for an estimate? <laughs> now, if it doesn't work, maybe grab a notepad and a pen or even open up Word and jot down a sentence or two for what you think you might want to say on your about page. And if you haven't really given it any thought, you can always take a look around at websites and almost every site that you visit will have an about page to get some ideas for your page.
And the nice thing about jotting this down in Word is that when we come back, you can just copy and paste. Okay, so I tried, and for me, the link wasn't working. So I paused the video and checked periodically. It's working now, so let's continue. Alrighty, so we've installed WordPress, and that means that step one is now complete. We just have one more step to go, and that's to add content to our new website. So now I'll log on to my new website, reggiejanedoe.com. All right, so this is how it looks. Now, um, I'm going to change this up just a little bit. Now, this login button right here, it goes to the WordPress dashboard. Here, you will use your WordPress username and password. Alrighty, so here we get our first look at the WordPress dashboard. And I'm going to go over here to Appearance and click on Themes. You know something? I kind of like this 2013 theme. Yeah, I think it'll brighten up the look of my website a little more than the current theme. So I'll click Activate. Go up here and hover over your site name to Visit Site. Right-click to open it in a new tab. And then click the tab. And as you can see, the change was instant. And yes, this is much more festive than that default theme. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a few important pages to your website. WordPress comes by default with a sample page. I'm going to change that and make it an about page. WordPress's formatting bar works like any other text editor bar, and it can help spruce up your content if you like. So I'll delete this sample and add my own content. Oh, I don't know. Um, Jane Doe is a Reiki master since 2006. And has a passion for healing the world one person at a time. and simply click Update. I'm going to add a new page called Contact. I'll include helpful information for potential clients and customers, ways that they can get a hold of you. and publish it. And a page for the services we offer. And you can add as many pages as you like. I'll also create a home page or a welcome page and show you what to do to have that page show up as the first thing people see when they visit your site. Simply go to Settings, Reading, and choose which static page you want to use. Now if I refresh this page, the changes are instant. And this particular theme also adds all of your pages to this navigation bar right here. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're inspired to create your own website, I wish you the best of luck, love, and light. See you next time.